When Moksha's ready, laying on of hands is going to be such a useful little promotion, so I'll keep that one. That'll be lovely. Okay, and you can see, actually, the, the walls were a two-turn build. They managed to put the walls up in two turns. Okay, so, so, we've got to go quicker with our war. Our war needs to be quicker, because at the moment, with those walls up, I can't, I can't take Lisbon. So, that isn't going to work. We're going to have to pull back, go back a few turns, try this again. So, here's turn 78. They were a little bit unhappy with how close we were at this point. One, two, three, four. If I move my units backwards so that I'm still within range of all the tiles I need to be in range of. One, two, three, four to there. But I'm a little bit further back. Maybe, maybe we'll get away with this. Difficult to say for certain, but we might get away with that. It's just we need to get them to avoid putting up the walls like that. That was the thing that did it for me really quickly. Now was 78 far enough back? Are they going to be scared? Nope, they're not scared anymore. They're not scared anymore. Okay, good. That means they haven't started building the walls. There you go, there's a lesson. Crowding around the AI will likely make them build walls. Crusade, done. All of Portugal's gold taken from them, done. Warlord's throne, done. Uh, now we can put the Royal Navy Dockyard in. Good. Buenos Aires' units are still kind of all floating around and being annoying. Okay. Declare surprise war. Good. Yes. Join in on the war, please. Thank you so much. Scythia still hasn't left the continent. They don't know who anyone is, but that's fine. We can go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I guess the Swordsman is probably best to be attacking Lisbon. One, two, three three like that and we can always attack some districts later if we want to you're gonna attack you're gonna attack there you go the walls will no doubt get built now oh no they're not bothering to build them i think they know that they can't get them up in time so there's very little point well that sort of works for me i'll take it um we can actually pillage oh oh they just put religion in did you see that? When did you do that? 925 BC. They just put a religion in. I no longer have crusade in the city. Oh, cheeky. Oh my word. Portugal are absolutely... They've got the big players today. This is exceptional. Right, fine. Well, we don't mind. We will continue to fight the good fight. Yeah, I didn't even see them with that one holy site. I think they must have rushed that through. Okay, interesting. It's their only holy site. No, they've got another holy site here. Oh, it's because because they finished Stonehenge. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, that's fine. We've only got one charge left. This is a hugely powerful Catholic city right now. So, that's fine. That's fine. You'll note that if we say that's fine enough, eventually, we'll believe it. We continue to take the city. The walls have not started to get built just yet. So, we've got a few attacks in that we can get through. I will pillage. We will pillage. And I think I could pillage the campus. It's a hugely powerful campus, that one. But that would let the city down a little bit. Hang on. No, let's sod it. Let's go one, two, three, like that. Lisbon is so close. We're just gonna, we're gonna rush through. We're gonna rush this as quickly as we can. Okay, they killed a galley with one of their galleys. But honestly, that's sort of what my galleys are here for. You know, I'm here to have them just be eaten as little battering rams. So that's fine. Braga, I'm gonna start to attack on that side. Um, this galley, I mean, I can sort of pull that one back to heal. Actually, I don't even need to pull it back. Give you the promotion that we all love and no uh then i can attack with that unit and then i can move this galley in attack to take the city there we go cartography taken and apprenticeship boosted as well keep the city it's already loyal that's the crazy thing golden age attacking into a city in a dark age it works a dream and now we burn the gold swordsman in good uh masonry gonna get that quickly because I can get the siege weaponry. I should have got that before but I don't think that's going to slow me down per se. Oh Mercury sells for a lot so I shall sell it. Oh the Incans like me now. They really like me. The catapult attacked my galley and killed it which is slightly unfortunate but it sort of almost was there as a, as a tempting target for it to sort of slow it down so that worked quite nicely. I'm going to move my swordsman through and in so that I can attack Braga. That would be really, really nice. In fact, actually, I'm just going to rush Braga quickly whilst I get more troops into this area. A swordsman just to follow up on everything else. Lovely. Go on, Catapult. You stay there. 
you stay there. Actually, I'm just going to wait on that Royal Navy Dockyard. I kind of fancy getting a caravel out, so let's do that instead. Yep, worked like a charm. So, uh, one more galley attack. I can get this swordsman in to go like that and then use the swordsman to take the city that's two cities taken now it reckons it's lost my religion no there you go i was gonna say get that religion back one more swordsman in like so and i could get archers but i think right now oh no i just need a little bit more iron okay i was gonna say i don't even have archers that's the stupid thing <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? If I get a spearman, I can actually get a boost down the line for military tactics, so that works nicely. Let's try and do that. Plymouth is converted, and there's cartography. Okay, good. So now I can finish my Royal Navy dockyard, get myself a caravel. I've got one in three turns in, in Plymouth. That'll give me some massive, massive boosts. 360 gold to upgrade, though. That's expensive. That feels very expensive. Let's just quickly go and get this in. Start plundering some gold. We need to plunder as much as we can in order to fund this little upgrade that we've got going here. There's my first caravel. It's a little bit expensive, but you can see Porto is almost surrounded and Moksha is now established, which means this spearman, the swordsman, the swordsman and the swordsman will all, once they spend a turn to do it, will heal almost instantaneously. It'll be very, very, very effective. They're attacking my units a little bit. Look, they attacked my spearman. Oh, that's unfortunate for them. 62 healing. Did you see that? Nice. I've got an archer in this city now again. In fact, let me just get this and then get the kill with the spearman, giving me military tactics. Oh, don't you love it? Don't you love it when a plan comes together, eh? Like speaking of, caravel. If I just attack the walls directly. There we go. We're actually just punching through without even using siege equipment here. That's that's quite fun. Admiral creates a naval melee unit. Well, I've got quite good naval melee units, so that would be quite fun. Let's just quickly bring him over to the front line. I didn't get the fleet. Unfortunately, Portugal was eating up all those great people very quickly, but it's, it's fine. I don't mind. Oh, there's a catapult Sometimes. in that city that's doing a lot to my galley, but unfortunately for them, I just leveled up. So that's Easy, easy wins for me. Archer, fire over the top of that slinger. Swordsman, in you come. There we go. Okay, how quickly can we eat that up? We can eat that wall up very quickly indeed. That's good. That Royal Navy dockyard also just finished. So I had another caravel up here. We're producing them. I think how many have I got now? I've got one, two, three, and the possibility to get a fourth on turn 88. That's not bad. Do I now charge for square rigging? I'm tempted, but I need to know what nighter is before I do that. So let's just hold it together for now. Let's go for horseback riding. Build a pasture. Have I really not done that? I don't know what pastures are. What is a pasture? Have I stolen a pasture yet? I feel like I should have, but no, I haven't. Nothing, nothing, nothing we own could be pastured. That's really weird. Oh, I managed to just catch a friendship with Tamira. She's on minus 28 with me at the moment, so she would have been very, very annoyed. But you see what I mean? Happy Scythia goes down very, very quickly on military strength. She's now down to 160 and because of her unique improvement that puts the faith down She's not bothering really with uh, population. So when we do come to attack her, I'm hoping it shouldn't be too difficult We've got two turns left I think I can get one more missionary out to send over to her before our golden age ends Although we've got seven era score to get in two turns. Can we do that? I feel like we can do that. I, I feel like that's possible. First of all, I've got a scout over here Can you circumnavigate the globe? Yes, you can. That's five of it. So we need two. <laughs> we need two more. I told you I'm good. Um, that is... Oh, Buenos Aires. Hang on. We can we can levy this for 100 gold. Let's just see if I can do it doing something else. If I can't, then that is a really quick way of doing it. Um, let's just chop down that wall quickly. And then we can go one caravel attack, two caravel attacks, and the city is sieged, so all is well. At any rate, Lisbon now converts to my religion. So there we go. That's the era skill we needed. I probably could do that next turn, actually. Should we wait one turn to do that? Yeah, I'm going to reset the turn, do that next turn, and then I'll use Buenos Aires to get the era score and then I can save it for the next era. I think that's the better way of doing it. These Portuguese catapults are very frustrating but luckily I've almost killed all of them so that's pretty decent as well. I'm just moving all my troops to Lisbon to heal because Moksha insta heals every single one that goes through. To say that it's useful would be an under exaggeration. It's so so handy. I missed out on a great general, which is a bit annoying, but I could save up my gold to get one a little bit later. I'd quite like one that works with red coats. At the moment, they're going up to medieval and renaissance. I think red coats are industrial. I might be wrong. Yes, they are. That's what's going to kill Scythia. It's 
it's gonna be red coats. So yeah, we should be fine. There's Porto, by the way. Well, bam, city is mine. And as we go to take this city, which very unhelpfully has got Stonehenge in it, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave Guarda alone. I don't want to knock Portugal out of the game because I want to keep the idea that I could get a tourism victory with them open until later. So that is always a possibility. Like. Like, this is the third one we're going for. We're going religious, we're going domination, and I'm going culture. Those are the three. That's what we're going to try and do. So we are, to finish it off, there is the levying. Two era score because we're at war. It's a warrior and an archer. Very cheap, but, you know, it's not the point of it. The point of it was to do it because we could. And there we go. Now, in a couple of turns, we'll take over this city, uh, leave Portugal with the one. But that is a successful war on turn 90. And now we can look immediately to go and invade the Incans who still haven't made any indication that they're going to get a religion although as you can see Saivia now have started on turn 91 to get a religion they're going for religious points what you need to do is we need to have a quick look see where their religious hubs are you can see they've made one here and they've made one here we need to start getting missionaries out so that we can religion bomb them as soon as they make it so again as fun as it would be to have free inquiry I think Exodus is going to be more important. I would like to get that religion out nice and quick. Although saying that, I'm just double checking. How much would I get in terms of science? 3, 7, 9, 13, 17. It doubled to 34 science per turn. That's a huge bonus. The free inquiry, a massive bonus. Oh, what am I going to get more of? Fez. If I, if I get 36 science per turn for 40 turns, that's 1,200 science. Divide by, by 20 gives me 60 population. That's the difference. I've got to get 60 populations worth of conversion. That's tough. That is so tough. I don't know the right answer to that one. I think the best thing I can do is spread my religion to get crusade going. I'm going to go Exodus. My gut is telling me to go this way. I appreciate I'm missing out on a huge amount of science per turn, but, but I'm just going with my gut here. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. You can just go with your gut and hope, hope that it is enough. Anyway, as discussed before, there's Lisbon and there's the era score in my next age. So that's all good. The first two votes we get from the World Congress are actually the two easiest in the game because you can always predict what the AI is going to do. Urban development they always go for A and they always go early game for city center. Mercenary companies again always goes for B and usually goes for production. Now we don't have any voting power which is a bit of a shame because one technique you can do with like sort of 80 to 120 diplomatic favor is to vote down on city center. Now I didn't realize you could do this for a long time but what you do is you ban city center buildings and then the AI can't put walls up and then you can just invade them. But as you can see look I'm not even lying a city center city center city center, all the same and then this one as well production 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 all on b so not only We're do i pick up two points there but everyone picks up two points the ai is that predictable we are all on two points right now exciting times for all there is the industrial zone lovely one thing i need to work on is my tourism but what i can do to get tourism is to take over kaguna the bate improvements will give you culture and that culture does turn into tourism later so there is an option. Unfortunately, the Bate is pretty much the worst of all of the tourism improvements the city states can give you. So it's not brilliant at all, but we'll do. We'll, we'll make it work. And so focusing on the bottom of the tech tree has got to be a good idea for me to go towards red coats. That's what we really want right now. Frigates are good, but red coats are better. Watermill. Ancient wheels, three archers. Okay, these things we can do easily. I can get three archers. I can get a water mill. There's no point not getting them. Actually, look, I've already got one, two archers already. If I just upgrade this one, there's machinery. Now all I need is a water mill. I need a city on a river, which I actually don't own. I don't have a single river city. Goodness me, what is going on with this map? Well, I guess we'll just have to grind past that one because we physically can't get a watermill. None of the cities I'm attacking as well has that option, so that, that's incredible. Now this is a military emergency against me. Oh, Now I don't think Saivia can join in, but the Incans might, and they do. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. What were they on? I think, oh, I just lost a lot of gold per turn there. Okay, but I guess this gives us the option now to spread my religion to them whilst we're at war. And that would give me basically infinite era score. So that's not the worst thing in the world. I'll just 
take another missionary out for now and we'll go after them. As you can see here, the swordsman can come in and boof, do quite a bit of damage to the city walls, like so. This city will not last long. Only problem I've got is that unfortunately, whilst this military emergency goes on, we won't be able to peace out. So yeah, we're sort of committed here now for a little bit, which is a beer to the pain, but never mind. I'm just going to pull my units back a little bit. Again, we don't want them building walls around their cities too soon. So I'll just hide my units backwards a little bit until we're ready to swarm. Look at that lovely plus five industrial zone. Yummy, super yummy. And this scout appears to be just in the middle of nowhere now. So let's just steal the settler that the Incans seem to have just randomly given me. Thank you so much. It's literally impossible to escape from here, but the fact that I store the settler makes me quite happy. So the Incans have crossbows. Now I know that because they just bullseyed my scout unfortunately but it's fine it was gonna go and steal some things but I guess the settler would just run away so we can convert a city whilst at war. That's ah oh, three era score and I believe I can do it again over here in a second. Do I just hold fire for a turn? I think I might. Oh I can't quite siege the city but like that's pretty close. Hey nice. I converted the city but unfortunately not on my own turn which is really really frustrating because now I don't get the era score for it but never mind. Great writer points per turn we have been picking up for some time now but I mean again we should have changed governments by now. We didn't get around to it. I think oligarchy will do. Let's get that in. Now we can go for professional army which will give me all of my caravel upgrades and my swordsman upgrades and all the sort of things that come with that before we can upgrade our government fully and limes will help us to get the walls up which we have been doing quite nicely as well. So now that a caravel upgrade is 180 gold that's much more palatable. We can also do men at arms for a much smaller upgrade as well. Oh yeah that's a lot better. Can we take this city? Go for it. Yeah yeah we can. Perfect. Okay this is good. This is good. We've got lots of upgraded troops now. We can send them all down south. Admittedly Portugal is still throwing things at me which is annoying but we are about to pick up some ancient walls which will hopefully be good to hit them back with. Now that I've got mercenaries I need exploration, a better government, maintain four trade routes you say. I should be able to do that. Why have I not done that already? No one's sure. In fact actually here's my fourth route. Well there we go that was easy. Uh, I'm gonna actually send a route to Sheffield. There we go. Lovely medieval fairs has been boosted. I've got castles going on. I'm going to get machinery first and then castles. There we go. That'll work. In fact actually saying that, do I go for I mean, redcoats? Do they get upgraded from musketmen? They do. Uh, so I might have to upgrade two muskets first. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. It's just about to happen. Scythia has a prophet. They have a prophet. Okay. We'll just wait and see which city it pops out on but I do have a missionary ready to go. Don't think it's this city. The holy site stood there and there's nothing there so I think it's gonna be weirdly enough the city down here. Yeah we'll see. Meteor shower. Oh hello that's right by my land. What's my what's my best unit? What can I do? I haven't got a knight so it'd be a heavy chariot. Uh, I might just leave that for a second then see if we can get something better from it. There's the prophet by the way. There it is. Um, okay actually I can I can delay this. I can I can actually delay the prophet from appearing for a while if I wanted to. I go for one attack there and then I go for a second. I can Oh, not quite to hit the city, but the spearmen can. There we go. Um, and this city, Mashu, I can convert at the same time. That's now got Crusade on it as well. Now bring in this unit to Mashu. Oh, this is going to be a nice, easy kill, I hope. Actually going to move Moksha down so that we can spread the joy, spread the love. Oh, I couldn't get the settler out. There was no way of doing that, unfortunately. Good fun though. So all of the catapults are charging forward without any real logic, just purely because they're trying to get back for the emergency, but that's fine. Got one caravel just sitting back. We can just destroy the units as they're coming one by one. In fact, actually my archer can now retreat back and get that kill. Lovely. Yeah, they're not going to really do huge damage to me. And I've got men at arms here that can just disintegrate their catapults. So that's not a problem. One caravel attack. I can get this second unit in and round. So I can go two attacks and then three attacks. And Mashu is also mine. Capital has an industrial zone. Okay, this is a good thing. This is a very good thing. We've now going to get some decent production going in this city. And actually, now that I'm starting to convert Scythia quite well, we want to get ourselves into a position where 
I can rush my military units really effectively. And I think getting encampments in will help with that. So let's just get the little basic infrastructures in right now. But you can see London, I'm just treating to a couple of extra tiles to get these lovely big farm placements just to get the pop up a bit. Still waiting for their religion to go. There have been barbs running around Scythian lands, hence why I think they haven't done it just yet. Where is the, I don't know where the prophet's gone actually. You, oh, he's over here. Or is he running to the other? He might be running to the other city actually. Not that it really matters. Another city converted whilst at war through my era school. We've got nine or 12 just this era alone based on those upgrades. So can't complain at all. Another caravel attack. And I've got this men at arms just sort of navally invading as well. Go and see if they've got any other coastal cities. I don't think they do. How many have they got? Only five cities left with 30 pop. Oh, there's a lot of pop there. They're all inland as well. Alas, we're going to need our unique units to go and do this. Our navy is strong, but unfortunately, there are very few targets for me now that are actually at sea. Bit of a shame, but never mind. Another meteor shower. Oh my lord. I can Remember get some serious goods with these. Let's get stirrups quickly. Let's do it. Nice. Did they put the religion down yet? Yes, they did. Islam. Okay, how much faith have they got? 209, that's kind of a worrying amount. Oh, bar, right, this barb is, is frustrating. That is the one place I don't want you to go. Oh, there's too many barbs everywhere now. Okay, how do I put my missionary into such a place that they can't then barb me? I think I can move through the unit, can't I? Yes, I can. So I can go to there. Oh, I don't get to do it in the same turn though. That's, don't know if that's, I don't know if that's how I'm happy with that one, but I can't, I couldn't leave it anywhere else because of the barb. Yeah, it would just kill me. There's another Admiral. I get an extra sight range, which is cool. I could use that on quite a few troops actually, to be fair. Let's take the city, huzzah. And I believe that's all three cities now following my religion. It is. And that's a fantastic little staging post for me now. And I can go into there and attack. Mounted I picked up the Temple the of Artemis in Lisbon to provide a little bit religion. of a base. I, I wanted more no, amenities. I wanted more Olympus, food so I could get more faith. But don't forget, so I do grand. need to produce a little bit of culture. I won't have to produce much culture to get the culture victory, but I do need some and every wonder I have increases it by a bit. So that's pretty cool. It also gives me two envoys because I noticed that city had the Apadana in it. Not built by me, but I can still use it. Now Kaguna is becoming more of a target for me. I really want to steal that city state where I can. That's going to be handy when I can get away with it. Um, let's just quickly, oh, we're slowly getting that, slowly getting that. I want to get rid of this religion as quickly as I can. By the way, I'm making use of the World Congress. Uh, it's 50% off building units and I'm producing just catapult after catapult after catapult at the moment. I'm going to do a huge trebuchet upgrade when we attack and I'm saving my gold up so that I can get one of the great generals in the kind of, I want sort of, a, this is medieval to renaissance. It'd be good if I could have another one, one of the later ones. Um, this is medieval. Trebuchet is medieval. Ah, okay. Fine. Well, the problem is red coats and trebuchets have different generals, but it's okay for now. So that is this city converted. He 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 he. I think I'm going to take the grievances. You're just going to be my friend for as long as I want it. But that was their holy city. So that is a big pickup for me. They've only got one city left. They've got 280 faith. So I am expecting, unfortunately, them to produce at least one apostle or you know, missionary or something, something horrible. But ultimately, it is what it is. I'm just going to have to deal with whatever comes out of that sieve. Oh, Portugal have got their unique boats now. That's a bit scary. I don't want to really be at war with you anymore. Oh, they will take peace, but for like an obscene amount of money. Um, sometimes if you just give back like a single city, you can make it better but I don't think they're gonna take anything really no I'll, I'll wait for them to make peace with me but it's it, it's reassuring they want it put it that way yes. stirrups has been gained so I can now pick up these what are they called meteor sites because knights are about as good as I'm gonna get for some time curacao's are way off in a different direction on the tree so we're not gonna bother with those for now build you two two universities I could probably do at some point how many campuses did I steal one two campuses okay right well I don't have any anywhere near the sort of buildings needed to them. I've got a library in this one and not in this one. Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? We're going to have to just race through printing, but that'll give me a combat bonus. So that'll be worth it if I can pick it up. Anyway, here you go. There's a knight unit. Knights are fun. This is where we get a little bit of a science boost. Now we're going to boost all the way to our unique units, but pop 100 science on this five pop city and 
this is their only other religious city in that direction. That will put us at zero religion on the map apart from our own, so the religious victory at this point is now pretty much guaranteed. Actually, an even better great general has popped up, so that's perfect. It feels like a lot of money, but this is a core out of a military land unit. I can do that on a red coat. Perfect. So we've got one. We have one great general. We've earned only one this entire game, and you know what? That's great. That's all we needed. We didn't need anything else. We're happy. Science boost. Perfect. Right, come on. Come on, units. In you come. Round you come. Wherever you're going. I don't care. Just convert the entirety of Saivia's army and land to my own religion. That's all I need. Come on, printing. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You know you want to. You know you want to. Okay, attacking from this direction is proving almost impossible because of the terrain and the fact that Hattusa is an absolute savage. So we're going to pull back, make sure our troops don't die. Um, maybe kill a couple of trade routes just because we can but we're not going to sacrifice our troops for nothing in this direction no sorry we're going to just sort of roll oh, you see what i mean there's too many troops too many troops we're just going to run into this lake and run away yeah tusa would be a good pickup if we can get it um in fact actually if we can get it is a good thing if i switch my government around i can steal it and then that would be fun because then i could levy the army against the incans oh you say oh what a cheeky idea oh moderate flood that's a big flood for a moderate flood. Blimey, this is getting really good area. I should go and steal that. At any rate, I've just taken seven brothers. It's mine now, and it gives me a trade route, and uh, I'm going to keep it because it's loyal, which is ridiculous considering how far away from my lands it is and how close to Scythian lands, but never mind. Their loss is definitely my gain, and boom, printing. A little bit of extra science for me there. Grants a free trader in the city, and foreign trade routes to that city give me more. I'm going to take the trader with Without really worrying too much about what any of the other stuff is like. I just need the gold per turn at the moment, that's the main thing for me. And the incense, lovely as well. Strategic resources, I can buy, can I buy Nita from Scythia yet? No, she hasn't found it. Uh, I'm just going to rush this aqueduct in order to unlock Nita, I'm going to need that for my upgrades. Ooh, this is a sneaky little back way. I could get to the Incan capital this way. Oh, oh that's cheeky. They put, a, they put the route for me. I love that. Anyway, this is exploration. Merchant Republics give me a little bit of extra gold with cities of the governor and I get production towards districts. It's not a bad set of things. I'm going to give myself the upgrade to my army, professional army card. That's a really good one. I'm going to give myself Republican legacy back. That's also really good. We have serfdom. I have scripture and I'm also going to get colonial officers uh, and also first envoy. We'll switch to merchant confederation in a second. It means I've got three envoys. I could steal Mittler. Oh no, I couldn't anymore. Mittler's... Oh no, sorry, not Mittler. Hattusa. Hattusa's got a lot of army. Levy military, 880. And Patrick Kuti. He's kind of keeping it a little bit safe, but not, not overly. So it's an option. The other thing I need to do as well is go towards conservation because I want to get my walls up and running and providing me with tourism. Again, it's a, it's a small source of tourism, but when you've got so little uh, enemy culture stopping you, you kind of need to take everything you can get. The good thing about being attacked repeatedly by barbarians is that all the catapults I'm building are all leveling up before I take them out. So there's actually quite a decent advantage to <laughs> not dealing with a barbarian problem working well good 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 okay we are almost almost finished with building an aqueduct so i'm not gonna rush military engineering i do have an even armory but for now let's get siege tactics because again i'm still just pushing ahead with the old science um that's 120 oh doesn't give me as big a boost as i remember but not far from military science now and once we've got that i have so many units that are all just ready to rock absolutely ready to rock in the meantime inca keeps sending individual knights over to me and it's becoming tiresome Please stop. Please stop. I have too many crossbows. I, you're not going to get through. I'm just going to whittle you down. It's just frustrating because every time I kill them, they then run back and heal. And then it's like, no, 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 get back here. I'm afraid, Mr. City, you don't have walls. It's not very clever, is it? Dear, oh dear. I'm just going to keep caravelling all of your things. But I have what I like to call a sizable fleet. 
on the way and we are going to visit your city. If I can get a foothold on my seven pop city. The Incans in a golden age? No, a normal age. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep you safe, my friend. So civil service is done. I could get an alliance, but I don't think, unfortunately for everybody else on this map, that I think it's worth it. Let's go guilds own two markets. I think if I steal enough markets, then technically, technically that counts, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Raid and I'm going to put in Merchant Confederation as we discussed before. Serfdom, Scripture, all of these things are lovely for now. We will go, oh yeah, these pillages, oh, they're tasty. They are very tasty. Also got a pillager going on just behind Cusco. They left their campus the other side of the mountain range. I'm not going to complain. That's, that's great for me. I'm also starting to get tourists now, which is crazy. I've got two of them. What, what's even getting me tourism? Uh, my holy site, oh of course, yeah, 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 yeah. And what's this one? Uh, oh yeah, the wonders in the Apadana. What, what, what wonders are there? Oh no, it is just the Apadana. Okay, I was like, I don't think there's anything in it. There's not, it's empty. Another city Flash. flips whilst we're at war and Nitre. Right, I actually don't remember where the Nitre is on this map. There's some in Plymouth and there's some over there. Okay, right, that's two sources that I can get to. Awesome. I'll just double check there isn't more around. Oh, yep. Some over there. Okay, cool. My capital can go and seek that out. And then as I start to conquer, I'll pick up more as well. Fine. That is all good news indeed. Now, let's see if we can steal this city before the walls appear. It's looking unlikely, but oh, we got more than a third of its health done in a turn. So, like, I've seen crazier. We might be able to pull it off. No, unfortunately the walls came up before we could take the city, but that's fine. It was being very cheeky, very, very cheeky. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull my navy back. And when we inevitably attack Scythia, which is coming up soon, I shall just quickly steal that. Thank you. We have got a navy that can attack this city to the south. So that's quite handy. And plus big combat strength, all naval units. That is not an admiral you want to keep around. You want to pop her immediately. Rifling, boosted, Nita is is now in the Empire. It's turn 118, so how are we getting on? Domination-wise, well, we have one capital already. Um, the Incans are going to probably be the most difficult, but they are navally very accessible, so I'm not too worried about that. It's more just the huge slog match we're going to have with Scythia, but as you can see, our religion is everywhere. They cannot escape it, and they're now losing cities to loyalty as well. So we're just sort of slowly creeping in and stealing their cities without really having to do anything, which is relatively amusing. Um, I keep just making sure that this city raises itself in population, just slowly, 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 just to keep putting the pressure on. In order to get a bit more tourism, I'm going to start building a couple of theatre squares now. I want to be able to push that as soon as I can. This encampment in my capital is going to be host to an armory. I'm saving up my gold to do that one. So let's go siege tactics quickly. Military science, that's good. We've got a military emergency. I kind of want, yeah, Inca, I really need you to make peace with me now so I can convert you. That would be good. Um, and I used some faith to get myself a great writer, who you can see here. Upon because there's just a little bit more tourism. Uh, it's uh, eight tourism in my capital, apparently. Mm, fair play. Fair play. I don't think I've got anything boosting that, have I? No, I've just got printing. So, oh, of course. Oh, this was a great work that was worth four by four. Oh, that's even better luck. That was a total accident. I saw it and I was just like, okay, I'll pick this writer up. That sounds fun. It was a four four. So there we go. We've just gone from 22 tourism to 30 without having to do anything. Brilliant. Nice pillage over here. Oh, that's some good armory gold. That's what I'm saving up for. All the stuff in my capital. If I give Inca a thousand gold, pretty much, they'll make peace with me. I think it's worth it. It sounds like a crazy deal, but then I can send my religious units over, which I need to do because they're the only cities I haven't converted yet. And Hattusa and Mitla, I believe these two are... Pachacuti is Hattusa, so Mitla is quite an important one. Or I can wait three turns and hope that people peace out out via the natural course of things. I'm gonna wait three turns, but like I feel like sometimes waiting. Oh, waiting is a tough one. I don't know if that's a, a right thing to do or not, but we'll we'll go for it. Another meteor shower. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> that's another three nights. Might as well go pick that one up, I think. At this point, by the way, I really don't mind lying about moving my army around. Like, I'm just we're gonna do it. <laughs> there's, no, there's no point trying to play politics. Like, my army is clearly coming to invade. Everyone is going to die. Probably a lot of my units, but, like, I'm hoping not too many. We should be fine. Is Kaguno anywhere near being safe? No, not really. Um, 
I kind of want that city state, but I might just have to kill it. It's kind of in the way. It's a shame, but never mind. Uh, yeah, as I say, we're lying. Sorry. Can't go around the rest <laughs> we're, we're going. We're not sorry. We're really not sorry at all. So. It's time to upgrade a lot of my units, so Professional Army is going to be the main one, but I am also going to pick up, where is it, the ability Retinues to get my upgrades cheaper as well on resource costs, because I think that's going to be very important going forward. You're going to find that we're going to be switching our policy cards a lot very quickly into the next sort of few turns or so, so just keep an eye out for that. But there's guilds and a great artist. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. So men at arms are not the ones to upgrade, but trebuchets are. Okay, right, one, Ballist. two, that's siege tactics boosted. Oh, of course, own two bombards is, oh, of course it is, it's two trebuchets. I always forget that, it's the glitch. It's, it's the thing they've never updated. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, military science is going to get upgraded pretty much whilst we're at war at some point. So we haven't got to worry about that one too much. But as you can see, I think this is probably time, probably time for war. Um, let's just do it. At this point, we don't care about the style of war. They're only on 65 military strength. So again, Scythe has done that late game thing. They always do. Something about Scythe, they just love to get rid of their army. I think they switched to getting a religious victory or a tourism victory or something something similar and they just can't help it. So we may trigger a betrayal emergency doing that, but what can you do? So luckily, we have a pretty easy World Congress on the second time round as well. Mercenary companies, as you can see, is going to be exactly the same as last time. Voting, you know, 50% of the cost on production. We like that. We like building more army. Sovereignty is a little bit more difficult unless you're on this map. The AI always votes A on sovereignty. They love extra yields to city-states, so I'll vote up on that one. And they're going to want to do scientific. Why do I know that? Well, there's one, two, three scientific city-states on the map, of which two of them are suzerained by the AI. There's a chance they could go for merchant, but if I vote scientific, I think that's going to be what goes through. You can normally predict it. There we go, 100% scientific, 50% discount production. Everyone went for it. Oh, apart from cultural on Savia. Interesting. And Portugal went for gold. Okay, that's not surprising. But I guess, yeah, look, Kaguna is a city-state that is Tamira. So there we go. That is something. That is something. We Sometimes you can predict these things, and in that particular case, we absolutely could. It was fairly easy in the end. Um, Trebuchet can move and fire because it's got the Great General. That bug still exists in the game, or a feature. Is it a bug? Is it a feature? If it's been a thing for this long, surely it's not a bug anymore. It is a feature. I don't know. Who knows? But... That is the city, and as we invade, we need to be a little bit careful that we actually keep plundering. Plundering is going to be really important here. We want to take advantage of all of the yields that we can pillage from the AI. So professional army is all very well and good, but I want to be continually stealing things. Oh, actually, in fact, we can buy an armory in this city. Okay, so gunpowder, I don't even need to wait for. I was doing that in my capital like a fool, like an absolute fool, but no, we don't need to do that at all. Incans might actually take peace with us soon, if we're lucky. Uh, I want to get peace with them just for long enough to start converting them. That would be really useful if I could do that. Um, but I am just building faith up. I managed to get my last promotion in on Moksha, so I could get Patron Saint, sorry, Divine Architect in, and I'm going to just pray my way into a holy site right next to all of their land, and I can send all of my units round the back and invading them nicely. Military emergency fails. Military. I have all of this diplomatic favor. There's nothing I can really do with it, but I might be able to get peace with people now. Um, sometimes it takes a turn or two to come through, but if I can make peace with Portugal, at least, that would be an amazing thing. So it's already the time for me to be getting musketmen. Oh. Oh, I love this time of the game. This is always a fun bit. In fact, actually, I'm just going to do one, uh, just a quick once over of all of my units. If I move you to there, you to there, upgrade you. I'm down pretty much to zero nitre and I've got very little gold. So this is the time where I think actually if I've got a gentle, easy civic to pick up like naval tradition, I'll do that quickly and then I can change my upgrade cards, save my stuff up a little bit more and then go again. In the meantime, I've stolen this little naval city down here. Now, Saivi is in a dark age, and just as I thought, they're not going to be able to do much about that. If I just quickly do what I was going to do down here, can I buy my holy site? Yes, I can. Lovely plus two. 
done. Right, Moksha, now you move across to my new city. There we go, it's loyal. And I can finally heal all my boats that have been sailing for years. Everyone get a heal. Everyone get an upgrade. Delicious. There we go, the Incans will give me Nitre, actually, for peace. Nitre and gold, and I'll take it. I will take it, because I want to convert them, so this is good. Don't forget, we can always declare war on them down the line. So this is, this is fine. This is fine. 300 gold and some nitre. Portugal's just going to give me their gold. Okay, great. I mean, I'll take it up front because, again, I'm upgrading my units currently. That would be cool if you could. Thank you so much. Good. Peace. Peace in our time. Ignore this massive roving army. Apart from that, it's peace in our time. <laughs> oh, dear. So many trebuchets, actually. Finding something to shoot with all of them is quite difficult. But, luckily... I will endeavour to kill everything that I can get hold of. So that's all fine. There we go, we've killed that unit. We can move this trebuchet in and go one attacker, two attacker. Oh yeah, that's some decent damage now. Do we want to keep Kaguna alive? I really kind of did. But I think in the interest of getting this kill done quickly, I, we've got to peg Tamaris back. They are the culture leader and I need to stop them from generating too much. So yeah, I think I think we will just go and destroy them. So now that we've got the piece, um, I believe I've still got my Exodus. I do, yep. So let's get the shrine in. Let's get the temple in and let's get some missionaries going. I'll send those across. To the Incans, we've got 102 fifth coming in per turn. We'll convert them all. Oh, they will be so glad to be converted. They're only on 34 culture, so actually I don't care about how long they survive because they're not the tourism leaders at the moment, so at the moment it's okay. Oh, actually, that's a point. We need to get open borders with both of them. If I just give you some diplomatic favor, thank you, before they denounce me. Um, there we go, like that. And get the deals off and I can give them luxuries. I don't really care who gets what as long as I can sell some stuff. In fact actually any of them you've got anything um that I can steal in terms of great works? No, not really. Fine. Actually Portugal I can just drain them of all of their funds and not even lose all my diplomatic favour. So that's that's good. So we need the raid card back in. Let's get rid of these two for a second and go for raid. Stick back Republican legacy, is it worth it? I kind of need to keep the momentum, don't I? So let's go for professional army. We'll stick that in for now. That's all good. We've got all of these extra little bits and pieces in, which is great. These barbs think they're going to have an, I think they're going to have a time with me, I think. But alas, they will not. One attacker, we'll go two attacker. Oh, the musket hits hard. Pillage this, move. And Barding will go to Manor Arms to make an attack. And then this city will take the city-state. Square rigging boosted because I killed with a musket. Excellent stuff. We advance. We continue to advance. Always advancing. So where to attack next? The Barbs are actually doing a good job at uh, this six-population city above their capital. So potentially, methinks that's where I'm going to go next. Um, why not? Armar, that's a man at arms. This is actually technically my city state, so I mean, there's two men at arms just sort of lurking around. Should we take those over? Is that worth it? Go on, man. It's worth the era score, isn't it? <laughs> just means I've got more options in this area. So, the most important thing that my cities are doing at the moment is setting up trade routes with the AI, because don't forget, I get 50% if I have a trade route and open borders with them. So, I've got one route now to Portugal, uh, and Eternal Teal have another route to the Incans as well. So, that's all lovely. And I'm starting to now spray missionaries out to go and convert the Incans as well. That'll be my first victory, the religious victory. Actually, these barbs are killing trader units. That works for me because I needed to reset a couple of them anyway, so <laughs> it's a brutal way of looking at it, but it's a very effective way of looking at it. Their encampments do so little to me, it's actually relatively amusing and reassuring as well. So that's that's good. Um, my trebuchets are continually moving forward now, which is pretty cool. We need to keep getting all these faith pillages. I often say how important faith pillaging is in domination games anyway, when you've got the grandma chapel but for me because I'm on speed mode at the moment every single pillage I do of these unique improvements which by the way once I steal the city those will disappear they all convert into missionaries and the more missionaries I have the more I can convert of the Incans I'm actually going to gamble on apostle here um, because I might get a decent upgrade on one I might not it might be a total waste 
you never know, but you have to give it a try sometimes. Well, there's the encampment destroyed anyway. That helps to just make sure that we've got nice secure lines. Although I have just left my siege tower exposed. That is a little frustrating. Oh, why did I do that? I think I'm going to have to buy a new siege tower. And I, luckily I brought two for this very reason. <laughs> I'm never convinced that I'm going to look after them properly, but yeah. It's never nice when you're actually proven right on that sort of thing. Whoops. Yep, they went straight for it. Actually, it was Scythia that went for it. Oh, sneaky. I don't blame them. That was totally my fault there. But um, it's still painful to see them destroyed nonetheless. It's my own stupidity. <laughs> Oh dear. It's a difficult one to put on a gravestone, isn't it? Unit died due to um, commanding officer stupidity. Luckily, this knight can actually come and get that kill really easily. Nice. So, you can move to there. Good. I can get this unit in. My trebuchet can keep on moving. Oh, no, you can't. You're stuck there now. Fair enough. Um, but I can do one attack, two attacks, like so. And then... I think. Are we going to be able to get the kill this time? I think it's probably a little bit stretching it, but that's fine. Oh well, we'll give it a good rough house anyway, so the city's almost destroyed. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Glorious Petra, Davalex, Doughboy91, Skeptical Bear, Paul Coffey, Craig Brown Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Nim, Amir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, and Private Selection Genoa Salami for all of your support. Thanks everybody!